With the cubs safely in camp, Jim hurries to join us in the foothills, where El Tigre makes her first stand. She's not frightened of the dogs and could kill them, if she could catch them. It's clear all these dogs are well trained. It takes teamwork and nerve to get this close to a deadly jaguar. The dog's constant barking is annoying the cat. There they go. We mustn't lose them. The pace of the chase is amazingly fast. Almost from the beginning, we've been so close that the hounds have always been able to see their quarry. Now, by pressing and giving her no time to relax, they can tire and maybe even corner her. Only then can we begin our capture. The cat pauses to catch her breath, but John's dogs won't give her a moment's peace. We no sooner catch up with them, and they're off again. Up to now, the advantage has been with the cat, who knows the territory and seems headed in a definite direction. If the blistering pace and the boiling sun is tiring the hunted, it's also taking its toll on the hunters. Then she makes her first mistake. The dogs almost get her. We're right behind and now we have the advantage. On the defensive, cat-like, she instinctively seeks the heights, a narrow ledge, but she can't retreat. The dogs have done their job. They cornered El Tigre. It's up to us to capture her unharmed. Jim has been carrying a special net. We'll need it and John will need his lariat. The dogs are still keeping the jaguars back to the wall. Our best plan is for John to climb the rock above and try lassoing the cat. Noisy dogs keep the jaguar so busy she never hears John as he creeps carefully over the rocks and into position. Our hounds keep the pressure on the cat as John tries again. Got her! A hundred and fifty pounds of fighting, spitting, fury on the line.
John Lilly keeps the lariat taut, allowing us to grab the dog who could injure the jaguar while she's defenseless. Pulling off hunting dogs who've got their victim licked isn't easy, but Jim and I managed to get them all chained. Now for the difficult part. Our jaguar is roped, but she isn't captured yet. John must pull and lift her while we slide the capture net underneath. Only then can he lower the rope, which is around one shoulder and leg, not just her neck. Now the biggest fight of all starts. Trying to tangle her in the nylon net is difficult. Despite all our efforts, she almost fights free. When it seems she's finally entangled, she breaks out. Only by grabbing rope and throwing net can we stop her. She quiets down and we start moving her. But that was just the quiet before the storm. Now the battle's almost over. I must contact our base camp, leaving Jim to hold on to our prize. Soon she'll be joining her cub and both will be moved to a new territory. For that we'll need reinforcements, who are standing by waiting for the good news that we've captured El Tigre alive and unharmed.